Hello, my name is Afton and I'm in tech support here at Integrated DNA Technologies. Today I'm going to show you how to use our online design tool to order IDT's primetime pre-designed assays for human, mouse, and rat, or even your own custom designed assays and plates. So there's two ways we can get to this new plate ordering tool. The first is through the main ordering menu, or we can go through the actual products page. So if you go to products, gene expression, and then primetime qPCR assays and primers. This will take you to a section where we can load this new plate tool. So once this page loads, you can go ahead and scroll down. And in this middle section, you can see order assays and plates. There's a probe-based type as well as a uh, intercalating dye-based type for the primer plates. I'll demonstrate the probe-based plate first. All right, so at this point, we are at the new primetime plate tool. Because of the sophistication of this tool, we would recommend using the most recent browser versions available based on whichever browser you are using. The first thing you may notice is on this right-hand side, we do see all of our plate specifications. So I can choose to rename my plate if I would like. Please note the three options on this side do apply to the entire plate. So the scale, the loading scheme, and the primer to probe ratio are universal across your entire plate. Plates are sent lyophilized. Keep in mind these are not single reaction ready plates. The number of reactions indicated assumes a 20 microliter reaction size after you resuspend your assays. So the mini scale is 100, standard is 500, and extra large is 2500 reactions. One other thing to note is that the mini scale is defaulted to FAMS and Iowa Black, and that is the only dye quencher combination available on that scale. We do default the primer and probe ratio to 2 to 1. You can go up to 4 to 1 for no additional charge, but that will be universal across your plate. So once you have your plate uh, criteria selected for the entire plate, you can go ahead and load some assays into your plate. Clicking Find Assays will bring up this new search box. As you can see, we default to human and gene symbol for the search types, but you can certainly change these based on your own needs. So what you can do is I'm going to go ahead and paste in some gene symbols. I'm going to reduce the number of assays returned per gene symbol and go ahead and click search. At this point, the tool is searching our pre-designed library uh, for assays that meet the criteria that I selected. At this point, it did give me the top two results for, for gene symbol that I input. I can select the assays that I'd like to order. If you keep your eye on the, the back left hand part here with that plate area, I can click add to plate and those assays are shown in the plate. So if I want to add a couple more, I can do that as well. If you do look at this add to plate section, you can see that the number of wells added is shown. One thing to note, in my search results here, it was not able to pull up two of the gene symbols that I input. Since I did select exact match, it's likely that I don't have the exact gene name entered in. So for HPRT, I can retype that in, click search, um, and it will load some more results for that. So I'll add this one to the plate as well. One other thing to note is that we do have a pathway gene list. If I click on here, it will take me to a new page, and this will give us uh, some gene pathways for human, mouse, and rat species. This is on a new page, so I could just go ahead and uh, copy and paste this into the plate tool. To get back to the plate tool, I can just switch over to this other tab. To get back to the plate layout, I can just go ahead and click X on this search box, and at this point, I can begin to edit and manipulate uh, the plate from this page. Clicking on any of the, the wells will show me the gene name, the accession number, the exon location, and the amplicon length. I can also begin to edit any of the dye quencher combinations if I'd like. So I could do that for any of these assays in the plate. One other thing to note is that this plate layout feature does have functionality kind of like an Excel document. So I can cut and paste. We can do a drag and drop feature like in Excel. If I wanted to change all of the dies on, on these at the same time, I can select them, choose a die, and click Apply to Selected Range. Let's say I fill a lot of my plate and then I decide I want to split these across two plates. I can click Add Plate, and as you can see, another plate 
layout populated below. So at this point, I could cut and paste these across the plates if I would like. One other thing you may have noticed is when I click on an empty well, I do have the ability to enter my own sequence information. So if you do want to order a variety of pre-designed as well as your own custom designed assays, you can do that in the tool as well. One other thing to note is the number of assays are shown at the bottom of the plate. As you can see, this one is green, so I do have the minimum of 24 in this plate, whereas this one I need to add 14 more to, to reach that minimum. One final thing to note is in the test or in the wells where I put in a custom design, the name of the assay is the only portion shown, whereas in the pre-designed it will show the gene symbol as well as the exon location. Once I do have my plates ready to go, I can add them to the order. One other thing I can demonstrate at this time is the primer base version of this tool. It's pretty much the same as the probe base version. There is just a couple less options for customization. So I still have the find assays feature. I can add my assays to the plate in the same way. The only difference here is that at, that at this time we don't need to select any die or quencher combinations because we don't have any probe probes in the intercalating dies. So that has been demonstrating ordering primetime assays and plates. If you have any further questions, you can contact tech support here at IDT. Thank you.